And reproductive rights is a huge issue this election cycle. This morning, the Fighting for Reproductive Freedom Tour made a stop in Reno with a stacked lineup. Minnesota First Lady Gwen Walls, Hollywood actress and reproductive rights advocate Jennifer Garner, Nevada's Democratic Senators Jackie Rosen and Catherine Cortez Masto, and Democratic Assembly candidate Erica Roth delivered remarks at Wild River Grill. And when it comes to decisions about our families and our health care, no politician should stand in the way because it is our choice. Actor Jennifer Garner is joining Gwen Walsh on the National Fighting for Reproductive Care bus tour. I don't want to know how the government is going to control women and middle class families. I want to know how the government is going to support women and middle class families. If you want women to have babies, you know the first thing they're going to need their first year of pregnancy is to reinstate the child tax credit. <laughs> Democratic Senator Jackie Rosen, who is defending her seat against Republican candidate Sam Brown, laid out what she says is on the line. They overturned 50 years of precedent, 50 years with Roe v. Wade, and this paved the way for those extreme legislators. You see them in state after state and county after county. You see what they're doing. The attacks on women are reproductive rights. They're even going in IVF or contraception in some cases. And Democratic Assembly candidate and public defender Erica Roth says the overturning of Roe v. Wade is the reason she's running for office. 2022, I was working for Governor Sisolak at the time as his deputy general counsel. And I woke up to the news that Roe v. Wade had been overturned. And like many of you, I began to cry. And within a few hours of Roe v. Wade being overturned, I had drafted the 2022 executive order that protected patients seeking care in this state from criminal prosecution. And the Trump campaign tells us that Nevada voters are concerned with other issues like immigration or inflation since abortion is already a state statute. Here in Nevada, the way that we that we are going to vote on abortion is very different than other states. And I think you have a lot of pro-choice Republicans. I think you have a, pro, a lot of pro-life Republicans who are going to vote for Donald Trump because they know that is the best option to move forward and the best option for the next four years. And after the Reno stop, the Reproductive Freedom Bus Tour traveled to Carson City, where they hosted a canvassing kickoff event at the capital city.